Hi, I'm Tom in the product team at Pharonix. Welcome to this video that will show you how to create a new software deployment package in Pharonix Cloud Deep Freeze. Pharonix Cloud supports deployment of EXE and MSIs via the Cloud Console, as long as those installers are available on a network share or public URL and support silent installation. To create a new package, go to the Applications page and click on Custom App, which will open a form. So then it's just a case of entering the fields in this form. So I give my package a name. I enter a URL. So you can here enter a network share or a public URL. If the URL needs a username and password, that wouldn't work. However, for network shares, you can specify the credentials. For architecture, select 32-bit or 64-bit or both. For install command line, if you're using an MSI, then you don't need to specify anything except if the installer requires anything beyond forward slash L and forward slash QN. But if you're using an EXE, then you'll need to refer to the application document to get the support silent switches. Uninstall command line, you can leave blank unless you'd like to create an uninstall package. Restart can be always or not set depending on the package requirements. And install timeout, the default should be good unless the package is big and would take time to download. Once you've done this, you can click Next and then select one of the workstations that's online and click Next and Install. And it will install on this workstation. So now I will be able to see my application on the Applications page and I can select it and install across all my workstations by hitting the Install All button. So that's a little explanation on how to install a custom app. If you'd like a lot more information, we offer an online learning course called Pharonix Learning. So you can go through everything there is to know about Pharonix and make sure you're really getting the most out of your product. If you want to have a look at that, please visit pharonixlearning.com. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.